Welcome, journey into nature and the outdoors. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And if you haven't liked this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Um, on today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the EcoFlow Delta Pro and the two extra batteries that I ordered through Kickstarter. I waited about five and a half months to get this. Um, although, I'm just now two months later in route to doing the video. The cost on this was $6,157. Each unit has 3,600 kilowatts. Times three, that's 10,800 kilowatts. Well, what does this mean? This means to make it easy, if you have a 1,000 watt AC like I do on my off-grid tiny home, that means you can run that 1,000 watt AC for 10.8 hours. That's that simple. And if you have a 500 watt AC, you can run it for twice as long. Um, I will tell you that this unit, there's six different ways you can go about charging it. One would be solar, two is gonna be wind, three um, through your AC home outlet, four is gonna be the car battery using your cigarette lighter, five, the electric vehicle charging station, and six, any gas generator, though the EcoFlow generator is the most efficient one. It, don't, it uses less than one gallon of uh, gasoline to power one of these units. Though I didn't get the generator, um, I don't really need it. I might end up buying more of the batteries. But let me go ahead and put the units together um, on top of each other so you can see how that works. And then I'm gonna go over the unit itself. This dolly mechanism that has been installed in the EcoFlow Delta Pro, it works very well and is very strong. The straps do help. Each unit weighs 99 pounds. And as you can tell, I don't work out. So you'll be able to see that I'm a little bit out of breath. Just wanted to show you a close up of how it looks when you stack them up. Now the EcoFlow Pro is the middle one. I want to show it to you that way you'll know what it looks like when it's stacked up like this. Now when you can link up, you will you put will your, plug your, battery your battery connection connector here, here from one of your extra batteries directly into your EcoFlow. EcoFlow Pro right there. Now this other EcoFlow Pro connection here is gonna be for the other battery, which is right here. So the cable goes from there to here, and then from this one, to this one. All right. Now the way they stack up, I don't know if you can see there, you can see how that rubber bushing up there, it's barely hanging on there. And on this side here, you have two of them. You can see this one. And you see one over there on the other side. Well, it, it does the job right. All right, now let's go over the back of the EcoFlow Pro and the extra batteries and what the EcoFlow uh, Pro comes with. So it comes with this package here. Inside, you have your AC connection, which will go right in here. And to the left of that, there's a little button that says fast and slow. Um, that's how you regulate how fast you want to charge your, um, your EcoFlow. 
So if you put it on fast, which it comes out on fast, you'll be charging at 18, uh, 1800 watts. If you put it on slow, it'll be a lot slower. I, um, I'm gonna be charging it at the uh, 1800 watts to see what it does. That's this one right here. Now the next button, the one on the edge right here, that is where you be connect, uh, be plugging in either your, um, your solar connection with your Anderson connection or your cigarette lighter with the Anderson connection. They're both the same connection and you can plug it right here. Just like that, either or. Now this, you can run this to directly to your solar panels and the unit itself will do everything for you. Um, it also comes equipped with the EcoFlow uh, adapter. Now this adapter here opens up and this is where you would plug in your uh, solar generator, which I do not have one. In order to use this one, you can use it directly into your um, Delta Pro by putting it here. Keep in mind that if you use your solar, um, your generator, to charge this one, you can only plug in one extra battery in the back. So this battery will connect to this one, but you cannot connect this other one. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to actually um, plug in all batteries together. Uh, that way you can see what they look like from the back this way. I'm going to move this one out of the way. And this one. This one. This one, this is your DC5521 to DC5525. Now this cable here will be used in the front. This is to power um, direct current on some of your appliances. It'll be used in the front. I'll show you in a minute. It also came with, with this EcoFlow cover. EcoFlow cover, which I'm not going to be putting it on for you, but I might show you what it looks like at the end of the video with it on. I got this one for uh, from Kick uh, from Kickstarter for being one of the first ones. All right. just like this and the way it plugs you just put these tabs on and to release them to take them off you push here with your thumb Just like that, you have them all connected. Once you connect your power source, right here, you plug this straight to the wall. You're going to be getting, um, you're supposed to be getting 1,800 watts. Um, the charging time per unit is um, 2.7 hours. So that will be per unit that's charging at the 1800 watts. Now you, could you could charge also it charge it with a 240 volts it, socket that will give it 3000 watts into the unit and it'll take 1.8 hours each to be fully charged. I'm gonna go over the front with you. To power your 240 volt appliances in your home directly from the unit itself, you will need to connect two Delta Pro's units together. You can do this by buying the double voltage hub and use the AC outlets on the hub itself. Or by installing the smart home panel 
you will be able to use your your home's 200 volt outlets. The EcoFlow Delta Pro. It comes equipped with the lithium ion phosphate batteries. This um, unit can be charged and discharged 65 cycles to 50% capacity or 3,500 cycles at 80% capacity. This means it should last you around 18 years. On the side of the unit, starting from the top, you will have the Anderson port, the car outlet, the DC5521 output port, the 12 volt uh, power button, the IoT button, the remote control port, pairing button, the infinity port, and you also have the standby switch. You have two USB-A ports. They output 12 watts max per port. You have two USB fast charge ports. They output 18 watts max per port. You have two USB-C ports. They output 100 watts max per ports. Four sockets at 20 amps and one 30 amp socket for the RV or tiny home. The start button. After pushing the start button, all three units turned on. That's because the units are all plugged in together in the back. The battery levels on all three of them, they're at 30%. I will plug in the unit to this extension cord. This is not recommended. It is recommended that you plug it in directly into the wall so socket. After running the, the unit for 30 minutes, the extension cord got hot and that's how I realized that I had to move it and plug it directly into the wall outlet. Looks like the EcoFlow Delta Pro is charging at 1600 watts. Right underneath there it shows 900 watts being distributed to the extra batteries. That's about 450 watts each. The EcoFlow Delta Pro shows that it needs five hours uh, for it to be fully charged and the extra batteries looks like it needs a total of six hours each. That is because the EcoFlow Delta Pro charges faster than the um, batteries themselves. It took five hours, 15 minutes to fully charge the unit to 100% from 30%. Thank you for watching Journey into Nature, the Outdoors.